Hello YouTube, this is Rudolph once again, uh, back with a promised video. I had a few people on my uh, uh, review for the ST DuPont Sleeping Mermaid Lighter uh, who were just requesting to know how to uh, fuel up their, well, their lighter and what kind of uh, butane to use. So I use this. This is, I'm not sponsored by the way, I'm not sponsored by ST DuPont. Hiro Oda, uh, you know, any kind of cigarette company. This is all here for what we're going to need today. Uh, don't smoke. But anyway, so I use this. Uh, it's the ST DuPont Pirate Recharge Gaz Premium. I'm not going to butcher that, but you see it here. I'll also have uh, a link for this in the description. I think it's also in the description of the other video. Uh, and then here you'll need your lighter. Um, so when you start out here, you're going to see these two, um, I don't know what you would call them, two slots. It's not really focusing, but um, yeah, I'm not going to try to attempt it. But anyway, so the one right here that you see that has the, uh, uh, has like a plus and minus, I'm so, I don't know why my camera's so, okay. So the one right here on the left side, this is going to adjust the length of the flame when you actually fuel it up and on this side the right side is the side you're going to want to use uh, and unscrew in order to fill up your uh, your gas so I am doing this with one hand um, I'd recommend you try to um, yeah so uh, I'll just let you guys know right now the <laughs> production quality isn't going to be the greatest, but if you watch my review, you would know. Uh, like I said, I only put it up because I just like the lighter, and I haven't seen an, you know, an English review of that lighter before. So, okay, uh, it went better than I thought. So when you unscrew it, it's going to look like that. You're going to see this. Now what you're going to want to do, and this goes for if you're refueling it or if you get a new one. You're going to pick up this. I got this tack here. Um, and you're going to want to release any gas that's currently in it. Now mine's empty. If I look it up, you know, oh shoot, <laughs> it's not empty. All right, feel free to dislike, unsubscribe. Uh, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the, the hole right here. And you're going to, you can use a pen. I don't like the idea of, you know, getting ink inside my the canister here. And you're going to press into it at kind of like an angle. And what's going to happen like a soda can. Well, not really, but I mean, I hope you get the imagery I'm trying to instill. Uh, you're going to smell a lot of gas. I would recommend doing this in an open area. Try not to get this on your clothes. Don't do it with one hand and, you know, it preferably probably wear gloves if you're working with butane. But anyway, so after you've made sure that your your gas is unleashed, I'm going to point this over here so I don't... Okay, so we made sure it's empty. I didn't blow ourselves up. So now you're going to get your gas. So it's when you order the lighter itself, it's going to come with this. This is, it looks like almost like a shell casing. Um, this is the adapter that you're going to need. So what I made the mistake of and wasted money on the first time was just going to a local 7-Eleven and getting a standard universal butane canister. Uh, they're going to have like the silver metal tip and generally be a little bit skinnier than this one. Uh, the, the problem is it's not like, you know, this can't take that fuel. It's just that you know, for one, this is made for it. Two, uh, the universal one, it, it it's too, it won't fit in the hole. I guess I'll just demonstrate. So if you don't use the adapter, what's going to happen is you're just going to waste a lot of fuel. You're going to make the place smell like it's about to explode. And it's going to, whoops. Oh, man. Stage fright. Sorry, guys. But uh, if you do it. Yeah, you see that? Hisses at you and then it starts spraying, uh, you know, butane gas and 
you know you can see right here the the, the frost on the oh, it's kind of clearing up now but that's a no-no you don't want to do that all you're going to do is just get yourself covered in, in butane and, and uh, you know feel like you're going to light yourself on fire so what you're going to do uh, is that when you you order this uh, DuPont lighter and another little plastic bag it's going to come with this so you're going to attach this adapter to the head of this now it should only take about I would say five seconds it's going to sound like a, a little release of air trying to get through a tiny pocket hole you know um, when you when you put it in so you're going to apply a little bit of pressure there we go perfect and so now when you light it up and it's it's gas so it's not going to leak out the bottom here or anything like that it's, it's, it's gas uh, once again I'm gonna move this to the side okay because you know be safe this is just uh, you know I know it's kind of ironic I'm saying like here's a tutorial on how to fill this but you know I'm doing everything you probably shouldn't do uh, as far as safety is concerned so you want to get right here uh, move this paper aside There we go, and you should be fueled up. So, like I said, here is the um, the the nodge to. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Doing, yeah. If you you want to take care of your lighter, don't use one hand trying to do this. Um, but I'm not making YouTube a career, so I guess I didn't invest in the best setup here. But so you would turn it to the left to make the flame bigger. And let me warn you guys, usually what you'll see in most tutorials, I'll recommend turning it here. You can see that, I guess you can't, but it's going to be a plus and a minus. So the plus, if you turn it towards the plus sign, obviously that's to make it the flame bigger. Turn it towards the minus sign, it's going to make it smaller, almost non-existent. You're going to want to turn it all the way to the minus side, just because when you initially turn it on, this thing has a huge flame. So I'll go ahead and show you. Or maybe I won't. Because... <laughs> oh man. Okay, so that didn't go according to plan. I'm gonna try filling this up again, and we're gonna not embarrass myself. Okay. I am so sorry guys, it looks like I'm going to embarrass myself after all. Uh, let's try something else here. Okay. So I get the little flame, but... Try getting a larger flame. It doesn't seem to want to work. There we go. So as you can see, it gets bigger than this, but I'm not trying to, you know burn my hair off uh, and that's it I mean this <laughs> I, I don't I don't mean to make this video like 10 minutes this honestly should have been like five but like I said I didn't have any kind of setup and um, you saw me fumbling around just trying to fill the thing up so that's that's basically it man uh, I'm about to go out for a smoke break so I guess that's why I have those there but uh, anyway yeah that's how you fill up your ST DuPont uh, lighter. Once again, this is the the fuel. I'll leave a link in the description uh, as normal to you know so you guys can go and buy the the fuel that you want. I'll also once again link the uh, the where you can purchase the lighter itself. Um, and yeah, so that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching.
Uh, so <laughs> I deserve a few dislikes because that, that was a horrible presentation when I was trying to fumble around with that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. You know, stay up, have a good one, and I'm really excited for the new One Piece chapter coming out. So stay up.